Welcome back, everyone. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Arkham Horror the Card Game. Uh, Dunwich Legacy, we're now going to be doing the Essex County Express. All right, Essex County Express. Uh, recent events in the museum have forced you to reevaluate Armitage's tale about Dunwich. It cannot be a coincidence. Wilbur Watley, the Necronomicon, the creature from Dunwich, and the people and creatures who attacked here in Arkham. Everything must be connected. You're certain now where you must head, the lonely and dismal town of Dunwich Village. You consider telling the Massachusetts uh, State Police what you know, but the negative consequences outweigh the potential gain. Given the nature of your story, they would likely write your story off as, stories off as an absurd hoax. Worse, they could lock you up. After all, you were present in an illegal speakeasy, and you also trespassed in the museum. Instead, you decide to head uh, to Dunwich yourself in order to investigate further. You pack your uh, you pack everything you think you might need and manage to get some uh, rest for the night. In the morning, you head t uh, to the train station in Northside and purchase a last minute express ticket. Dunwich is several hours by train northwest uh, along the Miskatonic River Valley. There is no train station in Dunwich, but you manage to phone one of Armitage's acquaintances in the small village, a man by the name of Zebulon Watley, who was present during the events several months ago. Armitage's notes indicate that the Watley family is spread across many branches, some decadent and unscrupulous, others undecayed, or others otherwise untouched by nefarious and diabolic rites. According to Armitage, Zebulon's uh, branch of the family lay somewhere between the decayed and undecayed Watleys, who knew of the traditions of, of his ancestors, but was not corrupted by them. He agrees to pick you up at the closest station and drive you into town. As the train departs from Arkham, you feel the events of the previous night catching up to you, and an exhaustion sets in. But before you can safely reach your destination, the train car suddenly rumbles and shakes, startling you out of your reverie. The train loudly skids to a violent halt, and you hear a rattling noise behind you. Okay, set everything up. Uh, put one of the three engine car locations into play at random, and then remove the other versions of engine car from game, and then put six of the eight train car locations into play at random in a straight line to the left of the engine car. Remove the remaining two train cars from the game. So first, engine cars. And we put one down, and the rest get put away. And then we do eight cars. One, or six cars. Two, three, four, five, and six. And the rest gets put away. And then it says to uh, reveal the... Oops, sorry. Oh, wow, that cycled fast, didn't it? Uh, do, do, do. Here we go. Reveal the leftmost car train car. Each investigator begins play in that location. If that location has a forced effect that triggers upon entering the loca that location, ignore it. Set all four copies of Cross Space and Time Aside out of play. Based on the difficulty level, add the following chaos co tokens to, the to Chaos Bag for the remainder of the campaign. For easy, you add another minus two. Which is not that bad. Uh, besides that, just shuffle everything. Um, and then there's a few notes here about moving uh, left to right. Uh, yeah, so it's just referring to the location to the left and the right. So it's literally, yeah, it should be pretty self explanatory. All right, a tear in reality. As the train to Dunwich comes to, to a jarring stop, you come, you look out the window behind you and see an immense tear in the sky. Like a rip in a, a piece of cloth, several of the rearmost train cars are pulled backwards, and there is a dreadful metallic crunch as they are detached. The train cars topple upwards and into the rift in the sky. Nearby passengers are panicking, others are cowering in their seats, and one elderly man has fainted in fear. Run. The train has stopped on a bridge high above the Miskatonic River. You might be able to survive be able to survive the fall, but you won't like your chances. Your best bet is to make your way to the engine car as fast as you can and get the train running again. If an investigator enters the engine car, immediately advance. So it's a race. All right, we're going to be starting on this far left location. And let's see, I need to reset all your stats. Okay, looks to be good. Uh, I did forget to grab Dark Insight. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we start with a survival knife, which is more than what I usually start with. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and discard those two. 
Okay, not a bad start. And we have the upgraded backpack. All right, Daisy. It's down to Revelation. We definitely want to shuffle that back in. Okay, Necronomicon. All right, uh, one. Two. I don't think I want the Dream Diary right now. So I'll draw three cards. One, two, three. Ah, oh, Dream Diary anyway. Not punished. Okay. And with that... Investigation phase. We'll flip this over. Uh, so it says don't do the forced effect for the first one. And they're connected by left to right. All right. Uh, there are six clues on this location with Shroud 1. And uh, you cannot enter the train car unless all the clues are on the le location to its left have been discovered. So we have to get all six clues here before we can even push. So this is going to be a little crazy. So let's start with uh, Diana. I'm going to spend a resource to get out backpack. Search top, t oops, sorry, not all of them. Search top 12. Uh, emergency cache. We'll just set these aside. And a backpack, because that's an item. Nothing else. Second action, I'm going to play my Survival Knife. Third action, I'm going to play my uh, Wolf Mask. Daisy. Uh, your first action, I'm going to go ahead and spin three to get out your Grim Memoir. I'm going to use your Book action to go ahead and use the Grim Memoir. Uh, we're currently... Oh, we need to talk about symbols. Uh, minus X is where X is the current agenda. Right now it's agenda 1, so it does minus 1. And then the uh, cultists do minus 1. If you fail it, it, it and it's your uh, your turn, immediately uh, lose all uh, remaining actions and end your turn immediately. So do not fail. Um, and then there's, of course, the uh, the Elder thing and this, the tablet, which we both don't have. Um, the tablet would add doom to a cultist, and then the Elder thing is minus 3, and you have to discard a card from your hand if you fail. But we don't have to worry about those. All right. Um, let's go ahead and draw our chaos token. We pass. Draw the token. Draw the card. Necronomicon. Okay. I did shuffle. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, we definitely did. All right. Uh, next, I'm going to do uh, Burning the Midnight Oil. And I'll gain two resources from this and do an investigate. I fail it. And then last, I'm going to go ahead and play Research Librarian, which I'm going to search for the other Grim Memoir. I'm also going to go ahead and use that Astounding Revelation to get back two resources. And that should be everything. Uh, yeah, we only got one clue out of the five that are remaining. And this thing cycles fast. There's four here, and this doesn't matter. We just have to get to the end. Okay, so with that, no enemies, upkeep. Okay. Mythos, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, here goes. Boop. Uh, Ancient Evils. It's going to add one Doom to the agenda. I'm going to Dark Insight that. So this gets get, get going to get reshuffled in, and I don't draw another one. Daisy. Uh, Peril. Choose one of the following card types. Asset, Event, Skill. And each player must discard cards of, of that type. Uh, I choose Skill. And nothing got lost. Okay. 
I do my best to just kind of focus on Daisy, just to not peek at the other hand while when I ever have to make decisions like that. All right, investigation phase. We'll start with um, Daisy. Whew. I'm going to go ahead and do book action. That Necronomicon is going to kill me. I know it. Okay, draw a card from that. Get a clue from that. All right, next I'll do a regular investigate. Auto fail. God, that's my second auto fail within two turns. Investigate again. Passed. Investigate again. Passed. All right, two clues remaining on this thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have uh, Daisy. First action, I'm going to investigate. Three to one. I pass. Second action, three to one. And then third action, I am going to go ahead and use one of my merchant's caches and get three resources. Enemy turn, upkeep. Okay, Pathfinder, that's what I needed. Mythos. Also, it should be at two now. Dissonant voices. Can't play assets or events. That's fine. And ancient evils. Goes up to three. All right. Good news is we have all the clues taken care of, so we're good on that front. I'm going to have uh, Diana go first. She's going to move. After you enter the passage card, you must either discard a card from your hand with uh, at least one wild icon or take one damage and one horror. All right, I'm going to go ahead and discard the Twilight Blade. And then this place has one shroud. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend a... Res uh, actually, I can't play events. So yeah, I'm just going to investigate. Pass. Pass. I think I accidentally double clicked that, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, next, we'll have Daisy go. Daisy is going to spend an action playing that uh, Pathfinder. And then she's going to use that Pathfinder. Uh, she'll discard the... Uh, actually, she'll take... Is it direct? Uh, no, it's just one damage, one horror. So I'll just take it and put on the Research Librarian. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to... Move again. After you enter the passage card, you must discard a, a card from your hand with two fist icons or take two damage. Uh, I have no fist icons. I have one wild, so I'll take two damage. I'm then going to go ahead and spend two resources to play Art Student and get the clue from this. The shroud here, by the way, is four. Um, then I'm going to do my book action. Use the Grim Memoir. So I'm currently seven to four. I pass, and I get to draw a card. Okay. That works. Next goes to enemy upkeep. Oh, that's not upkeep. 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 Okay, the evasion one. That's not bad. Mythos. All right, this is going to advance. The rearmost car of the train detaches as, as it pulls backwards. To your horror, it rises off the tracks and is consumed by the gate above you. Remove the leftmost location from the game or place it in the victory display if it has a victory X and no clues on it. 
Each investigator at that location is defeated. Each enemy and asset at that location is discarded. Discard all clues controlled by the, by investigators. So yeah, um, you can very quickly just die immediately. It's pretty brutal. All right, uh, next we'll draw, this should be discarded now. Draw this. Uh, riding a mains, uh, it'll be three. Uh, for each point I fail by, I take one horror. Uh, worst case scenario. Uh, also, let's see, keep moving. Uh, the mall widens, the tear grows larger, and you can feel the rearmost car of the train shaking as it is pulled backwards. The situation threatens to erupt into chaos as more re passengers realize the danger they are in. Some passengers are looking for places to hide while others are running about the compartments in terror. Okay, so the important thing, it doom, three doom will advance, and we definitely need to keep moving. So three brain, I'm two brain right now, and I can't afford to risk failing. So I need to either get two brain at least, which I don't think I have anyone that can help too much. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a promise of power because I can't afford the, if I there's a there's a chance that I there's a there's a chance that I can you know add a doom for the next turn and then get two of those uh get additional dooms type things. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. It'll add a uh, curse, which I forgot to remove last time. So there's a curse there again. OK, we passed. And you, the location to your right, or lo your location if there's no locations to your right. Emergent monster monstrosity enters play exhausted. The creature erupts from, the, from underneath one of the seats, growing ceaselessly in mass and volume, threatening to envelop the entire compartment. Um, I'll go ahead and go with uh, Diana. She's going to move. Second action, she's going to move. All right. Uh, sleeping car is connected to the location, blah, blah, blah. Gain three resources. Remember that you have stolen the passenger's luggage group limit once per game. So one person could do this. All right. Um, and then we have this guy that has five health. Um, I have an action remaining. Uh, is this guy an elite? No, just a regular guy. Just a regular dude. Um, and what, five or four? Uh, I have three power, so it'll be five. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit him. I'll use an offering. Uh, is this guy massive? No, he's not. Okay. Uh, so this puts me at 7 to 4. Yep, yeah, 7 to 4. I do pass. I'll do 1 damage to him. All right, Daisy goes next. She'll pathfind to here. Uh, then she'll book action. So this is 7 to 4. Pass. Uh, that was 6 to 4, so I do get the draw card. OK. Uh, next, I'm going to. Spend an action to gain a resource, or not gain a resource, to spend a resource and play a Strange Solution. And then I'm going to go ahead and spend an action to move. Yeah, as long as the clues are discovered, it doesn't, about the, doesn't matter about the monster. You must discard cards from your hand equal to two uh, will icons or take two horror. Uh, kind of in a rush, so you know what? Dream Diary and St. Hubert's Key. Actually, it's just two damage, isn't it? That's the statement. Yeah, I'll just take the two or I'm not in any super danger. Um, and then for my action, I'm going to do a Burning the Midnight Oil. Uh, this puts us at... Five to two. Uh, that is a pass. Okay. Three clues remaining on it. And that's everybody. All right. Uh, monster on exhaust. It's going to engage Diana. Diana's going to get a offering back. 
and then goes to upkeep, and then upkeep. Okay. And that was our upkeep phase. Goes to mythos, one mythos. Draw. Uh, each investigator at your location loses one action. Each investigator at your location with four or more damage must also discard an asset he or she controls. Your train car begins to shake and shudder violently back and forth along the tracks, knocking you to the ground. Uh, yeah, I'll lose one action. Yeah, so the, like I said, these things can be super devastating. Like, you can draw a bunch of these at the beginning and then not have enough action economy to actually get through. Uh, ancient Evils. Good thing I saved that Word of Protection. Uh, it's going to do one horror, cost one resource, and I'm going to negate that. Time is of the essence. Okay. Goes to Investigation phase. So, unfortunately... Uh, Diana is going to be stuck here for another round. But that's okay. We're we're making good progress here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack it. I'll use an offering. So again, seven to four. Okay, it's taking a damage. This thing hits for two and two. By the way, it's a it's a beast. Uh, then I'll attack it again. I'll use the offering. So seven to four. Oh my god, I do fail it, and I lose the uh, curse token there. Okay, uh, is this a fast play? Yes, it is. All right, uh, so fast actions don't provoke attacks, so I'm going to go ahead and spend two resources to play delay, delay the inevitable. Uh, attach it to your investigator at your location under his or her control. When you are dealt damage and or horror, discard it and cancel all damage and horror dealt. And then when the mythos phase ends, you must either spend two resources or discard delay the inevitable. So this thing's actually a really good combo with Diana and the Twilight Blade. You can constantly kind of cycle it over and over again. All right, uh, Diana, or Daisy, sorry. Uh, we still need to grab things here, so let's keep grabbing things here. So get a clue. Yep, five to three. Pass. Five to three. Pass. Five to three. Pass. Okay, we get all three clues. And then I'm going to pathfind forward. Ah. Uh, after you reveal dining card, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a grappling horror and draw it. So this is the bad part. Grappling horror. So this thing, I believe, is massive. Nope, it's just a hunter. But while you're engaged with it, you can't move. And unfortunately, I don't have a uh, way to follow up with that. So I'm going to take some take some hits here. Um, I could take a tome action, but that will provoke. So I'm not going to. I got a little greedy there, but it's fine. I don't actually need to... Um, there's no clues here. So I actually can go straight into the um, engine car next. All right, enemy phase. This guy is going to hit for two and two. I'll use delay of net inevitable, put it in our basement. Okay, and then this is going to hit me for one and one. I'll have the art student soak both of it. And then goes to upkeep. Uh, terrible secrets. I have two cards. Um, I'll take the two horror. Upkeep. Okay. Mythos, we're up to two. It's going to advance on three. Yeah, here it is. Claws of Steam. Uh, test three will. If you fail, take two damage and you can't move from this location this round. Damage from this effect must be assigned to your assets first, if able. All right, I'm three brain right now. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and, so I'm right now 3 to 3. I'll go ahead and do this uh, Dark Prophecy. So 5 tokens, and I have to pick a symbol. Oh, actually, no, that's not safe. That's not safe at all. Uh, I'll just test. So 3 to 3. All right, uh, so that's a fail. This thing's Agenda 2. Yeah, so it'll be minus 2. Okay, uh, I'll take two damage, and then I can't move this round. 
All right. Oh, also, I forgot about the uh, Merchant Monstrosity. Um, I was going to do Survival Knife, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So it would have been 5 to 4. Uh, for this, I will do the Dark Prophecy, which would have actually made a difference, but that, does, that doesn't matter now. Uh, actually, how many symbols are there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Good luck. Okay, so I would uh, I would still fail with um, minus two. Alright, so he's going to stay, stay alive for a bit longer. But I do get to put this in the basement. Get a resource draw card. Okay, sorry about that. I, forget, I always keep forgetting about Survival Knife. Which is a pity, because it's a really good weapon to do the counterattacks with. Alright. Uh, so that would have meant I was actually four to three on the um, on the mythos step, but I didn't have anything to commit anyway, so the minus two still failed. All right, draw this. Frozen of fear. That's fine. Okay. Investigation phase. So I can't move with Diana anyway, so I'm just going to do a bunch of attacks. So yeah, uh, five to four. Pass. Five to four. Pass. Five to four. Fail. I have another dodge ready, so it's not the end of the world. Okay. And then for you, so move, fight, or evade is going to be the the issue here. And he does have Hunter. Alright. Well, I have to spend two actions then to do this because of the um, Frozen Fear. And then I evade at 6. So I'm 6 to 2. That is for Agenda 2. So yeah, it's just going to be minus 2. So we do pass. He is now exhausted. And then I'm going to uh, uh, I will spend two resources to go ahead and get research librarian out. Grab the other dream diary. And for my last action, Actually, I'll go ahead and just do the Pathfind and move up. OK. After you reveal engine card, draw the top three cards of the encounter deck. OK. It's the slain body of the conductor is draped across the many control mechanisms of the engine car. OK. The investigator, enter the, engine, the investigator who entering the engine card reads the following out loud. A tender car filled with coal blocks your way to the engine cab. Swallowing your fear, you climb out of the near, nearby window and clamber onto the roof of the train, making the, your way across the tender car. The steady backward motion of the train makes it difficult for you to keep your footing. As you get close, a winged creature swoops down from above, its body composed of piping hot steam. All right, uh, so I can either do try to evade it or try to fight it. And if I fail it, I either get mental trauma or physical trauma. So it's a three test. Um, oh my god, I can't actually pass this. Um, I'll go for the evade because of mental trauma. So three to three. All right, mental trauma. Which is unfortunate. Not much I can do about it. You t uh, to attempt to dodge the creature. If you fail, you leap too far and barely grip the side of the train, hanging on for dear life. Although you manage to pull yourself up, the experience is terrifying. 
and that's all that. All right, get the engine, and that was uh, Wings of Steam, and then get the engine running. You've managed to make it to the engine cab, but now you have to get the engine started again so you can outrun the, the pulling force of the gate. If there are no clues in the engine car, immediately advance. All right, um, I still have actions, so I'm going to go ahead and do Tome action. Grab Mimmar. Uh, this thing has one shroud. So that puts us at uh, two. Draw this. Draw a card. Another strange solution. This one will heal. All right. And then last action, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, investigate five to one and pass. All right, so far so good. Next, um, we go to, I think that's everybody, right? Yep, that is everybody. Uh, enemy phase, this thing's gonna unexhaust. Uh, this guy's going to hit for two and two. I'm gonna spend a resource to dodge it, which will uh, say fast action, uh, negate, cancel the attack. Goes in the basement, gain a resource, draw a card. Okay, and then we go into mythos. Or sorry, upkeep first and then mythos. Okay, upkeep. All right, uh, give me one moment. I'm just being a little paranoid uh, whether or not I've been keeping track of the doom counter. So it's going to advance. All right, the next train, uh, don't stop. The tr next train car is ripped backwards with violent force. A middle-aged man hangs from his fingertips as the car flies unhindered toward the rift. In, the, in moments, the car is consumed to pull, and the man lets go rather than be pulled into the void. He starts to fall, but is caught by the rift force and pulled inside anyway. Remove the leftmost location from the game. And then discard all clues by, by the investigators. So discarding all clues. Oh, also, I forgot to do the um, top three cards of the encounter deck. I should have been doing that first. It would have been this. So test three brain. I take one horror. Next. Uh, I would have lost an action. Uh, which meant I would have not been able to do one of the clues. So, yeah, that actually makes a difference. I would have had, uh, I wouldn't have had that last investigate action. And then last one, Falls of Steam, three brain. I do pass it. Okay, sorry about that. A lot to juggle. Okay, so that would have happened before the upkeep and all that junk. Um, then it goes to Mythos. We've already done the, the advance, the agenda. Also, I forgot to do the survival knife again, so I'm just going to do that now. Um, five to four. Uh, let's make it six to four. All right, that does finish him off. And he gets put in the victory display. All right, now you get to draw your thing. Acolyte, in any empty location. Also, this guy goes away. Uh, yeah, at this point, I'm kind of okay just letting him hang out back there. I mean, the agenda is going to advance faster, which, by the way, uh, rolling backwards, the pull of the rift in the sky seems to grow stronger, and the entire train begins to roll backwards along the tracks. Uh, the rearmost cars of the train begin to rattle, and the force uh, the force of the rift threatening to detach them. You must get out of these cars as fast as you can. All right. So that was you. Helpless passenger, put helpless passenger into play at the at the location to your left. And it's a surge. And if the uh, pa helpless passenger leaves play, each investigator takes one horror. You can parlay it to take control of them. Okay, surge. Uh, skills. Yeah, John, this phase, so I can still pick skills. And no one has any skills. Good. All right. Uh, we'll have uh, Diana go. She's going to start hauling butt over to here, engage you, get an offering for that. And then I'll attack it uh, five to three.
Yeah, five to three. Uh, that's actually a fail now, because we're on agenda three, minus three, so it does fail. Okay. Uh, next goes to... Oh, also, I forgot to do the brain check for this, so I'll do that now. I still have it. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I was clicking all the wrong things. Okay. Well, at least I know that's coming, I guess. All right. Um, Daisy. I'm going to go ahead and investigate. So I'm currently 5 to 1. OK. So one thing we can do is we can try to stall and try to draw another uh, some of the other, the other uh, monstrosity to get another victory, but I'm not going to do that. Passed. And last one is a passed. Pass, I mean. Okay. Yep, so that's all the clues from this, and that should be everything. All right. If there are no clues in the engine car, immediately advance. The engine roars to life and kicks into motion. You shovel uh, coal into the engine's firebox and are relieved to see that the train is moving forward along the tracks once again. Resolution 1. Uh, before resolving any other resolution, if at least one investigator is defeated, do the defeat, investigator defeat first. Uh, you breathe a sigh of relief as the gate behind the train collapses harmlessly upon itself. The few passengers who survived the ordeal seem unable to comprehend what just happened. One passenger uh, mentions a pipe bursting, bursting in the rear car, and that quickly becomes the explanation uh, for the innocent and ignorant, those who can, uh, either cannot or choose not to delve further into the mystery. Uh, you, on the other hand, know better, although in hindsight you wish you didn't. Uh, each investigator uh, earns uh, experience equal to victory X, and that is it. So we have two experience to spend. Uh, I'm going to get a second backpack for Diana, because we need as many things to help with the uh, getting her gear as much as possible. That's kind of the big disadvantage is that if I don't get the weapons, I'm kind of uh, in bad shape. I didn't even get I didn't even get access to the time worn brand. Where was it, by the way? What? Oh, it's down here. Um, it was two turns away. Oh, two draws away. It wasn't too bad. Granted, you want to get it, like, you know, sooner. All right. Um, and then for Daisy, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade her other deduction. I think that'll help out quite a bit. Also, it's like four turn, four draws away from getting our best friend coming. All right. Discard that. We're going to start with one horror because now we have uh, one mental trauma. But for all the characters to get mental trauma, she's probably the safest. So it is what it is. Okay, uh, that is everything. Uh, we spent our two experience. So... Not much else to say about that. Uh, I am the Depressed Eeyore. This was Arkham Horror the Card Game with um, Dunwich Legacy at the Essex County Express. Uh, next, we'll be doing Blood on the Altar. So I'll see you then.